David Gabrielson is a professional forester for Forest Capital Partners, LLC. As the manager of the Central Inland Area, he oversees 100,000 acres of forest land in North Idaho and Eastern Washington. Forest Capital Partners is known as a timber investment management organization. We manage everything from the planting the harvest to planting the trees, everything in between. Gabrielson's mission is to grow trees that will maximize long-term revenues for forest capital investors through smart management of its private forest lands. The overall objective with forest capital and forestry is to, to maximize their net present value through the practice of intensive silviculture, which means proper planning of harvest, proper implementation of the harvest, timing with markets, intensive silviculture treatments as well as follow-up treatments. Forest Capital manages its lands primarily for timber production, but it also places an emphasis on the long-term health of forest resources and multiple use. Multiple use for Forest Capital is clean water, clean air, recreation opportunities, wildlife, timber production, aesthetics, all of those kinds of things that are associated with the forest. Gabrielson says there is no typical day with his job. I like the diversity. That's probably the single biggest thing. The, the, it's always different, something's always new, and, and I love to get out in the woods. His passions involve being outdoors. My family, hunting, and work. I like to be out in the woods, and I'm happy when I'm, when I'm working hard. One of the biggest challenges in Gabrielson's job is to educate the public about managing private forest land. Forest capital may clear-cut sections of the forest to meet management objectives, but it also will promptly replant the areas to get a new stand of trees growing as rapidly as possible. A lot of what we do to some people looks harsh, looks tough, looks bad, um, and trying to explain what we do, why we do it, and be able to see that you know it's a rapid progression from one stage, which is the harvest, to the rapidly growing plantation like we just saw, that's challenging as well. Clear cuts are part of starting a new forest, Gabrielson says. When I look at a clear cut, I see potential. I see future potential. I think of it as a freshly rototilled garden. Fresh start on a site, opportunity for for a new crop to, to grow rapidly. Forest Capital manages for a 40-year rotation of trees, meaning they grow smaller diameter trees and sell them to modern sawmills equipped to handle smaller logs. Mills are set up to run very quickly, very efficiently, and they process small diameter trees into high-quality lumber. Forest Capital keeps an eye on the ever-changing lumber markets to know what tree species are fetching the best prices needs for certain species are going to change. Um, white pine 70 years ago was king. Now it's a, it's a great species, but its markets are much smaller than they were. Lodgepole was a weed. It was not even something you took to a mill. Today it commands a price like Douglas fir. Gabrielson strives to grow a diverse forest that can respond to changing markets for forest capital. Looking into the future, I think being able to capture different markets at different points in times and having diversity on your forest lands to capture those opportunities when, it, when they come is going to be a big player.